okay ye it is a bit late for coffee in the gook but upload days now with the addition of director's commentary days are a very long days so i am quite tired by the end of it but i feel like the right way to do this is to do the director's commentary on the same day of upload if i don to do the director's commentary on the same day then i know what's going to happen which is i'm going to start really preparing for it and then i'm going to turn into a whole other job and then it will never happen so this is why it's like director's commentary right away whatever i happen to remember or nothing so that's the way it's going to work this is a video that i really did expect it was going to do a director's commentary for because i mean obviously this is only the fourth one so i'm still kind of figuring this out but for the gray goes outside playlist things but we been working on these already feel a little bit like they re behind the scenes videos anyway so it's a bit odd to do a director's commentary for the this is uh, I think they read just a lot less dense and intense than the main clad gray ams of his a sons as and a male as a I you I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I so i think in general if i'm doing stuff like this in the future there probably want to be a director's commentary but this tokoi project boy did it turn out to be a whole thing so we figure there's at least a little mini director's commentary in this one would you classify this video as one of your light gray videos no i created on the channel this playlist in a category that i'm calling light gray that is for stuff that is really easy and is relatively unedited and unresearched so like the little video that i put up before this of just me driving the tesla straight into a bunch of tumbleweed that was like a cut scene that's like a light gray video i think that sort of video can be kind of fun but it's obviously not a main video or like i did the explanation of the supreme court recently and for various reasons like that's a video that i could make without having to do a ton of research it doesn't need to be as tightly edited and so yeah that's like a different category you know what this is i'm putting this under me playlist of like gray goes outside which really i could not have timed worse as a project of why i was really planning on doubling down this year on with the global pandemic so this is obviously a project that's a little bit left over for that but yeah i had a whole bunch of things in mind for like gray goes outside as a concept and the world had other ideas so that's the category this fits into and who knows how much stuff will appear on that at any point in the future but that's the answer to your question of what do I consider this. I consider this a Grey Goes Outside video. It's not a main video. It's not a light grey video. It's a me being outside and exploring a place. Ye, yeah, the harbor master. I could make a vlog taking out the trash and that, that is just about the most exciting outdoor thing that I have done in several months so i hope everyone's doing all right so to give you a sense of this 
I was talking to me assistant this morning, and we were just trying to trace back. How long have we been working on this thing? Because from our subjective experience, it feels like we have been working on Tico for forever. And the answer was the first correspondence between the two of us about this project goes to May of last year. That is more than a year ago when I first decided to bring someone in on this project, and then I don't know exactly how long before that I was working on this and sort of investigating it as a possible thing. But so, yeah, May of last year is when this became like a real this looks like it's going to happen project. Still not as old as the cat in video. Well, yes. I mean, technically that's correct, but the cat in video is not actively being worked on. The Tekoi project was actively worked on for the past year and a bunch of different ways. But yeah, so it's just a very, very long time ago and the way that this worked. I was going to the Skull Valley Indian Reservation for other reasons at that time, and it just so happened that I came across this what I thought was just an incidental piece of information that oh, beyond this reservation there happens to be this I didn't even know what it was exactly like old weapons. I was able to get permission from the tribe to be able to go on to go on to Tokoi. That's how this happens. This is not a facility that you can just go visit like if anybody's out in the area like Don to drive down to Tokoi and just think you re going to see something you cannot go on there. They re not joking when they say that the area is patrolled. It is also super dangerous like if people don to know what you re there it's not a it's not a good place like it is an abandoned old facility and given that there a lot of underground construction and a lot of this stuff. There are huge metal doors and all the rest of it like it. But not a place to just go wandering on your own like that. A bad idea if people don to know that you... I... 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 It's so, a sort of funny as a creator, because when I made the first video where I I showed me just exploring to Koya thought that would be kind of clear when I showed people the opening scene is oh, I'm unlocking the gates with this key, and the guy figured like this is a clear enough indication that I have permission to be here, and this is not a place. There you should go there. Uh, there's a lock, and I'm unlocking it. The, the. So yeah, I guess, I guess I was a little bit wrong about how clear that message is of unlocking the gate, but yeah. So we just, just want to say like it. Not a public place that a person can go visit. I was able to get permission from the tribal leaders, and I had to sign a lot of waivers in order to be able to go there. So that's the thou, I, as, I, says, says, I, says, says, I was, 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 I
Really getting this secluded office space that you want it actually had a actually had a little line that I cut from the exploration video where there was a bunker that was way off to the side of the facility that I thought all oh, this actually would be a really charming writing space if I could just get some air conditioning down there like it would really love this as an office that didn't I make it into the, the original exploration video. By the the by the the by the 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 Gumbas to answer the question how long were they left there I don't remember I do I know we came across it in the treaty at some point that they had to be left out for a certain period of time but I don't I don't remember offhand I don't remember offhand what that was there and nothing a bit of shinny tape couldn't fix it would not want to flay in a plane where why they had welded that the tail fin back on no thank you Pass, <laughs> 
Pass visit itself. Pass passes itself. Pass vividly. Pass vividly. Pass vividly. Pass vividly. Pass Pass <laughs> 